Hello and welcome to my video all about how to knit the double basket rib stitch. As you can see from my knitting sample here, the basket weave design is formed from horizontal and vertical ribbing. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is cast on a multiple of 18 and then add 10 to that number. So in my case, I did one times 18 and then added 10 to make 28. So I cast on 28 stitches and I used the long tail cast on technique. What you can see in this photo is a single 18 row pattern repeat. But please don't let the fact it's an 18 row repeat put you off because all the stitches are only knits or pearls. So it's really simple and ideal for beginners. Right, so row one represents the right side of the knitting. And to start with, we're going to knit 11 stitches. So you just knit 11 regular stitches. The only thing that's easy to get wrong in this pattern is to forget to take the yarn to the front to purl and to the back to knit. So just always remember to do that. Okay, so next we purl two. So you take the yarn from the back to the front and purl two stitches. Then take the yarn to the back and knit two stitches. Yarn to the front and purl two. Yarn to the back and knit one. You then repeat all of those stitches, i.e. knit 11, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit one, over and over again until you only have 10 stitches remaining on the left hand needle. Then you simply knit the last 10 stitches. And then we move on to row number two which begins with one purl stitch. Then the yarn goes to the back for eight knit stitches. Then back to the front for one purl. And then we're onto the repeating section of row number two. So we start with one purl stitch then do two knit stitches, two purl stitches, two knit stitches, two purl stitches, eight knit stitches, and finally one purl stitch. And then you simply knit that repeating section over and over again until you get to the end of row number two. And then we move on to row number three. The repeating section for row three starts with a knit stitch. Then we purl eight stitches. Then knit two. Purl two, knit two, purl two, and knit one. And that ends the repeating section. You simply then keep knitting that section of stitches over and over until you only have 10 stitches remaining on the left hand needle. You then knit one, purl eight. And finally, knit one. And then we're on to row number four, which begins with 10 purl stitches. And then the repeating section of row four is as follows. Purl one, knit two, purl two, knit two, and then purl 11. Then keep knitting that repeating section over and over again 
until the end of the row. You'll be pleased to hear that rows 5 to 8 are exactly the same as rows 1 to 4. I don't want to bore you by walking you through the same set of stitches again, so I'm just going to put the pattern for those four rows up on the screen now so you can work through them. So once you've knit these rows, we can move on to row number 9. OK, so once you've done that, you simply knit across row number 9. So row 9 is just knit stitches. And then we're on to row number 10. So you first purl 2 stitches, then knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, and then purl 2. Then the repeating section starts with 10 purl stitches, Then we do two knit stitches, two purl stitches, two knits, two purls. And you keep knitting that repeating section over and over until you get to the end of the row. And then we move on to row number 11. The repeating section of row number 11 starts with two knit stitches then two purl stitches, two knits, two purls, two knits, and then eight purl stitches. And that completes the repeating section. You just need to keep knitting that section of stitches over and over again until you only have 10 stitches remaining on the left hand needle. And then you knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, purl 2, and finally knit 2. And that will finish row number 11. For row number 12, we start off with two purls, two knits, two purls, two knits, and two purls. And then the repeating section for row 12 starts with knit eight, then purl two, knit two, Purl two, knit two, purl two. And that completes the repeating section. So you just keep knitting that section over and over again until you finish row number 12. And then we're on to row number 13, which begins with the repeating section, which is as follows. Knit two, purl two, knit 2, purl 2, knit 10. And that's the end of the repeating section. So you keep knitting that section over and over again until you only have 10 stitches remaining. And then what you do is knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, Purl two, and finally knit two. And then you'll be pleased to know that rows 14 to 17 are exactly the same as rows 10 to 13. So instead of walking you through the same stitches again, I'll just put the pattern for those four rows up on the screen now, so you can follow along. And once you've followed the pattern for those four rows, you're on to row number 18, which is the final row. And all you have to do is purl stitches. So you just do purl stitches all the way along row 18. And that completes the 18 row pattern repeat. 
I hope that wasn't too painful for you. And now you should have something that looks like this. Obviously, you can then repeat those 18 rows as many times as you wish. I really hope you've enjoyed following along and I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching.